Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Today we'll talk about a very new topic called SNA Utils. So, what is the SNA Utils plugins? How benefits you can get from the SNA Utils? Let's talk about that. So if you see these fields number are requested for locations, their backend name to get their backend name, we are struggling lots in every day. And if you see this uh, choices value also getting those choice backend value, also sometimes we get a struggles. So that is the main reason I'm going to install a new plugin called SNA Utils and I'll show you that how benefit for that. So without wasting time, let's get started. So in your Chrome browser, I have opened a new um, browser. Here you have to type that SNUtil. So let me type that. So you have to type that SNUtil service now, and then it will show you a uh, Chrome browser extension. You just need to install this Chrome browser extension. So this is my mail address. I have to just add to the Chrome. So I'll click that add extension. It will be add in a uh, few minutes. Okay, now you can see it is saying that SN Util Tools has been added. So in SN Util Tools have a many features. I am not going to uh, deep dive all those details, but my favorite is only uh, specifically my favorite is that if I open the SN Utils, there are many things that you can directly change your update set. You can track that whatever uh, changes you have done recently. All these things you will be able to access that. So. Let's go back to the service now instance and refresh that. This is my service now instance. And now, if I open that SNA Utils, uh, so you'll be able to see all the updates, set, updates, all the notes, uh, and then tables and everything. But I have few favorites that help me in the development. So very first thing is that talk about the notes. If you're actually running your application in, uh, if it is not in the developer instance. Uh, it will be show multiple nodes and you can uh, you know refresh your node in case if you want to refresh your node okay so you can refresh your node that's normal you don't have access but yes by yes and utils you can refresh your nodes secondly my favorite is that if you go to the settings and then you will have a options called show technical name so that is my best favorite one so you can just uh, check that and then refresh your screen so once you would uh, check and refresh you will be able to see all the you know all the backend name for each and every fields if you see number backend field is the number requested for backend field is the requested for allocation due date price all are the backend name is showing started showing and that okay and then for the choice list if you see uh, it will show all the choice list backend name also so not requested is backend name is not requested so this will help you lot in your development in case also in the list also it is showing all the backend name if you see the catalog name uh, catalog list backend name is sc underscore catalog catalog item all the backend name is started showing in you so in case you are building a a lot of things it it help you okay second uh second uh, uh you know my favorite thing is that if you see there are a lot of ui actions and i don't know that which from where those ui action is coming so what i have to do I simply have to click that uh, portion mark. It will simply land to that UI action. So that is also my favorite one. So you can go and see any of this UI action quickly, uh, you know, uh, in case if you want to know. So you can see the delayed UI action is right now visible, okay? So that way you can directly land to any of these UI actions. Also, uh, also another, uh, my favorite one is that if I go back to the catalog item, so open this is my catalog item and if i try it each and every catalog item back in name also will be shown so let's say i am building a catalog item and i am writing some code i will know that what is the variable value i don't need to right click and configure and don't don't need to see that it will simply show that catalog variables name in case i want to know the more details I just simply click on that and it will open directly the variable. So you, you don't even need to be bothered and right click and configure that. It will simply open in a new tabs. So you can see it simply open the new tabs. Okay. So these are the things are very uh, helpful for me uh, using that SN utils, uh, uh, using that SN utils plugins. Apart from that, they have that 
shell script. So if you uh, do here and put the slash, once you put slash, there are a lot of shortcuts that help you to you know uh, open any of these background script, any CL, any of these things. So if I simply type ACL here and hit that, it will open the ACL. You don't need to be go and uh, type in the navigation dot ACL. You can also set your own, uh, you know, uh, own uh, shortcut also in 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 case of if you open that uh, that very frequently. So these are the my web favorite one. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite uh, in my comment section. And if you are uh, installing very fast first time, let me know also. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.